Hi everybody, welcome to another video. So today we are going to add a 2.5 inch SSD to our Lenovo S145 laptop. So there are 10 screws total. The four screws I am removing now are the shorter ones. Number two, so let's go for number three. So these are shorter ones than the other six we're gonna remove. What's really great about this laptop is that when we remove the bottom cover, it's not connected to anything. It's going to be a clean it's going to be a clean um a clean removal because other laptops when you try to remove the bottom cover, it's connected to a Wi-Fi card or some other component of the computer. So Here we go. All right, so 10 screws out. Now I am going to use this plastic. I keep, I keep thinking like it's a guitar pick, um, but yeah, it's just, to, it's a, it's a plastic uh, to open up the laptop. To be honest, I don't even know what it's called, but it came with the tools. So just kind of slide it in there. The Lenovo laptop has a lot of plastic pretty much, so I try to be careful not to scratch it. But uh, you'll find it, I think everybody's going to pretty much find it pretty easy to open up this laptop. It's a great laptop, good design, um, they really made it easy for people to upgrade. Awesome. So you want to make sure you, you ground yourself. Um, so like I said, there's nothing connected to the bottom cover. So here is the M.2 SSD, which uh, came with this laptop that I got. So now we are going to add our 2.5 inch SSD. So are there are different models of this laptop, uh, but for this model, I have the M.2. It's a Samsung, it's, uh, it's really good. Um, I didn't even notice that the it had room for another SSD, so that's why I'm making this video. So there are four screws for the SSD bracket. The screw that I'm removing right now, it's underneath the battery holder. You guys will see it. Boom. Go. So let me take out this. SSD here. Looks very nice. So I am I'm using four pieces of M3 by three screws. Um it did I'm surprised the bracket or the SSD didn't come with any screws, so I, I had to pull some screws out for my toolbox. To hold it in place. Um, I mean, you could probably get away with just using three screws. Because, you know, it is a laptop. And when you do carry around the laptop, you don't want the S S SSD to be moving around. So I do recommend screwing in the SSD to the bracket. And then, so I'm going to lift the battery little bit and slide in the bracket. And then making sure we have a good connection. Boom. So nothing too fancy. And then I just put the four screws back to hold the SSD bracket and the SSD in place.
All right, so four screws in, good to go. So now I will put back the back cover and screw it in. So I'm gonna start off with the long screws, the six long screws. Also keep in mind that this is a brand new SSD that we just put in. So we are going to have to format the that SSD for um just to have it work. I'll show you guys that in a minute. If if the SSD that you have is already formatted, then you don't have to worry about it. All right, so the SSD and the back cover are now secured. Let's turn on the laptop. So now, as you can see here, we don't see the SSD that we just installed. This is just the original SSD that came with the computer. So. I wanted to show you guys this real quick because you have to decide if you want it partitioned as a GPT or an MBR for your SSD. It really depends on what you want. For me, I'm going to be using GPT. So what I'm going to do is create and format hard disk partitions. And then once I go in, it gives me the option. So you want to be careful. You want to make sure you have the right um, SSD that you're working on. So I'm going for GPT. There you go. And then I'm going to right click this and then I'm going to do new simple volume. And then I'm going for the NTFS. And then you can also rename your SSD if you'd like. So this is just going to be used for extra storage. To be honest, I don't really need that much uh, space. So this, this 120 gigabyte Lexar SSD is going to be used for your extra storage and that's pretty much it. And voila. It, it, it recognizes it now. So let me show you in this PC. So there we have it. A partition Lexar SSD. Looking good. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.